the kettlebell RDL. So we're just going to be using a kettlebell for this Romanian deadlift or RDL. And you could use a barbell, dumbbells, anything like that. But we're using the kettlebell to start with. So we're going to go feet either side of the kettlebell. And then we're going to slide your hips back behind you like you're shutting a car door behind you with your hands full of shopping. And then we're going to take hold of the kettlebell. Chest out, shoulder blades back. And then slide your hips forwards to stand up. Same from the side view. So again, I'm always thinking chest out, shoulder blades back. So we've got a nice straight back. We don't want to be arched forwards or anything like that. And then slide those hips out behind. We're not bending the knees. Maybe a very slight bend in them, but nothing um, not to do the movement. And then drive forwards with those hips. We're squeezing those lat muscles, those muscles that go into your armpits, just to help keep everything nice and secure. Now you'll notice I'm stopping a little bit shy of the floor here. And that's to do with my flexibility more than anything. So if I was more flexible, I could get down pretty much all the way to the floor. But I'm just going to where I can feel a bit of a bite or pull in my hamstrings from here. This is about as far as I'd go. Because from here, to get any further, what I'd have to do is either bend my knees and turn it into a squat, which I don't want to do, or arch my back. And as we've said, we want to be keeping that nice straight back, chest out, shoulder blades back. So that's why if I was hot, more or less halfway there, you might be able to get a bit further. So if you can do, then great. Just go to that point where you feel a bit of a bite around the hamstrings, around the back of the knees there, just where you get a bit of a stretch. And that's it. That is the kettlebell RDL. Oh.